This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by FreshBooks. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. Today, I'm introducing a new tool for like minds called Nmap. Nmap is short for Network Mapper. It's a free and open source utility for net security audits and network discovery. It's been around since around 1997 or so, but it hasn't changed too much, but it's still kept up to date by its user community. Now, Nmap is available for a variety of platforms and the most popular, of course, being Linux. Over the course of my Nmap series, I'll introduce concepts such as using it for host discovery, which is basically identifying hosts on a network, port scanning, version detection, OS detection, and scriptable interactions with a target. Now that's the funnest part. Nmap can also give you info on DNS names, device types, MAC addresses, and even more. It's usually used for auditing the security of a device or identifying open ports or network inventory, and you can also use it to identify new servers as well. Of course, Nmap, just like any other tool out there, can be used for black or white hat hacking and is widely used strictly for systems administration. So let's take a look at how to download and install Nmap as well as your first scan. But first, let's take a quick break. FreshBooks is the simple online accounting solution built for small business owners just like you and me who want to skip the headache of tax time. It is tax time, and if you're not using FreshBooks, your life is probably a mess right now. You're hunting for receipts and digging through invoices and going through every single record one by one. That's the absolute worst. Now, FreshBooks is the simple cloud accounting solution that makes tax time a breeze. My taxes, they're already done. You know why? I was able to keep track of each and every receipt for the entire year through their expense page. I can group and I can sort depending on the type of expense, so when I'm filling out my tax forms, it's really easy to find specific receipts. To be honest, it kind of helped me save a little bit of money this year on taxes because it kept me so organized. Now with FreshBooks, you can create professional looking invoices, you can capture and track expenses and get real-time business reports with just a couple of clicks. Plus, you can work anywhere with FreshBooks mobile apps for your phone and your tablet. So the sooner you start using FreshBooks, the sooner you can start focusing on the work you love. Focus on your work, not your paperwork. Now for a limited time, try FreshBooks free for 60 days. To get started, visit getfreshbooks.com now and enter Hack5 in the How Did You Hear About Us section. Right now, FreshBooks is giving our viewers an extended 60-day free trial to make tax time a breeze. So again, go to getfreshbooks.com and enter Hack5 in the How Did You Hear About Us section when signing up. Thanks again for supporting the show. We're back, and now we are ready to download Nmap. So the first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do, is on your terminal on Linux, type in Nmap dash dash or tac tac version. And this should show you a version of Nmap if it's already installed. If it is not, it will also tell you that. So if you do not have Nmap installed, it'll let you know. It'll just say you need to install this with sudo apt-get install Nmap. Very easy to use. Now there is also a graphical user interface version called Zenmap that can also be used, but we are going to just focus on the command line version for the hack tips. Both Windows and Mac also have download options as well, and directions for both of those downloads can be found through the nmap.org link, and I'll have the link in the show notes for you guys. Now, if you also have Kali Linux, it's already installed, so you're ready to go. I love Kali Linux, it's so wonderful. Now, to start using nmap to scan a single target, just one computer or one server, you can type in this syntax. It goes nmap and your target. So for my example, I'm going to scan my Synology NAS so that my command would look like this. It's going to type in, I'm going to type in nmap and then whatever the IP address is of the Synology. 73.31.74. So, when I hit scan, it's going to start the actual scan. This scan is going to show you the status of different ports detected. So you're going to th see three different columns whenever you check this out. First off is port, this first column. The second one is called state, and that says open. And the service is the last column over here. And we see things like FTP, HTTP, NetBIOS SSN, and that's very popular, that one. 
So in this first column, we have the list of ports. And this is going to show you the port number that certain services are running on and what protocol they are using. So we see that port 21 has a protocol called TCP running on it. Now the state is the status of the service. And then the service is the software that is running on that server. I know server, services, sometimes services or servers. It gets a little confusing, but bear with me. So on here, we see that the different kind of software that we are using on this server include FTP, HTTP, there's a printer on it, something that's unknown, Postgres SQL. Hmm, that could be interesting. So the state also, I should mention, this can be open, closed, filtered, unfiltered, open and filtered, or closed and filtered. Now, paying attention to what processors are running on your servers are often, they can be really crucial to keeping your network very secure. More on that later as we discuss finding a printer and then discovering that Telnet is open on it. Hmm, that's fun. So, what would you like to see next on Nmap? There's a lot of very interesting things you can do with it. I can also use it with Netcat to do a series of different commands. It's very interesting and I'm very excited to check it out myself. Send me a comment below as usual, or you can email us at tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this and some fun with SDR radios. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist.